Hi everyone! Hi everyone! Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Seca Stationery. So, so casual. casual. As you can see, Neil has returned. Hi. <laughs> We're very excited. I feel like, uh, oh wait, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I feel like you have like a fan club. I'll do it right Yeah, now. like there's certain people who really think you're very funny and I don't get it, but. <laughs> 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 Me neither. <laughs> but yeah, you have um, a burgeoning <laughs> There There's um, a few outspoken people who quite love your sense of humor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I hope you, whoever you are, are happy to see that Neil has returned for this episode. Um, here in New York, we are uh, definitely getting into some fall, autumn, uh, weather more like and um, yeah just like I feel like every time the seasons change I it puts me in a little bit of a better mood because um, you know as the season drags on I tend to get a little bit like stuck in a rut um, but as the season changes there's like each season brings new things so fall is always like Halloween and like Thanksgiving and yeah. you know warm cozy drinks and things like that so I have that on my mind. I think it's more fun with Jacob turning too. It's yeah. so fun to yeah. like have to see everything and experience everything through Jacob. Right and now he knows like what you can explain Halloween. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the other day he surprised us because we said Halloween and he said pumpkin or something, right? <laughs> like he knew there was an association there, which was kind of surprising. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Miss Rachel. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it's like it's also like having Jacob encourages us, encourages us to like get out more. Yeah, because yeah, we feel course. like you know we got to bring him to experience new things. So there's always like something fun to look forward to for every season because it's yeah. so many new experiences for him. So that's really cool. We're actually thinking about bringing him apple picking, right? Yeah, always fun. I can't wait. It's gonna be so fun. I can't wait. Any excuse to get to a farm is uh, a win in my book. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, let us know if you guys are looking forward to anything for the upcoming fall and winter months. Um, other than planners, of course, we are obviously thinking about planners a lot as well. And one of the planners is actually Himakuri Sticky Calendar. Okay. These have been on pre-order and there's so many designs, like yeah. I can't even hold them all. But there's so many designs and uh, they have finally arrived. So actually, as we speak, Ashley is working on getting all of them. <laughs> All <doors. laughs> That's right. She's back there. <laughs> um, so yeah, we if, thank you so much for everybody who pre-ordered your Hema Curry through us. Um, they are going to be on their way to you very, yeah. very soon. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know what Hema Curry is, they are um, peel away sticky calendar sticky right. notes and i'll show you guys what they sort of look like they started off like the um you know those things on the wall right like, peel it off, right because right. Right. in japanese the word himekuri means um that peel away calendar that the peel off calendar um tear off not peel off, <laughs> tear away calendar. Right. And so this company actually um, interpreted it a different way and they made them adhesive, so sort of like post-it notes. And they come on this little triangular stand that you can put on your desk or whatever throughout the year. And as the year goes on, you just peel away one per day. And a lot of people who journal will peel this away one a day and kind of use that as just like a date marker for your diary or your planner or whatever. So you don't have right. to write in the date every day. You just have like a cute little sticky note that already has an illustration. Um, so this is the stationary set here. The stationary one usually comes with a booklet. This is like, I don't know, the fourth or fifth year in a row that they're making the stationary theme. This is a new one this year, which is cute. That's very cute. Do you know what's in the book? No. Just about the, um, I assume. The animal. Yeah. 
Oh, in here? Yeah. yeah, I think this one is about the book. Yeah, as, as this one, the booklet, is about the animals. And um, I like kind of seeing that in the past few years, they are incorporating more, more um, photographs. So like more photography design. So this is the memory one, yeah. which has like beautiful, um, this is obviously like flowers, but they're 365 unique photographs, obviously. And then this is the zoo one, which is new this year, and it's so cute. I was thinking about doing this with Jacob because they made this in collaboration with like five different zoos in Japan, and these are like real animals from the zoos. So cute. And then also last week we did, we did release some exciting things. What is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? It's it's our it's our little Yoseka goodies. So and starting with this one, this is the Yoseka brass token designed yeah. by Ashley. And you might recognize this because we've shown this before in previous catching ups. And May and Ashley actually did a whole video um, on this and some of the other goodies that they designed. This is one that went into the gift box for right. um, customers who uh, ordered all three Yoseka pens right. um, on pre-order and helped us to make our pens happen. Right, as a brass token of appreciation. A token of gratitude. Yeah. <laughs> is that cheesy? Uh. Um, <laughs> That's what it was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's, I think she might have even said it. Oh no, she didn't. But she wrote it in the description. She uses the term token of gratitude, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then it says, collect one lucky charm on the bottom of the packaging there. The front of the brass token is obviously just our logo there, our Yosin Jack characters with Yoseka stationery um, and also the Yosinja, uh, Yoseka Stationer's store name in Chinese on the bottom there. It's Neil's parents' store name. And then on the other side of the token is actually, if you can see, it's kind of obscured by the string, but that is actually our doorway into our Yoseka shop in Greenpoint. Um, and that's the shape of our shop. It has like a little arch on it. Kind of looks like a grid because this is a really small token. So um, it's okay if you thought it was a grid, you're forgiven. <laughs> you're forgiven by Ashley. And then obviously like going around the outside of the the circle of the token over here, we have like just some little stationary items that right. actually thought to include. So this is super cute and I'm glad that you guys are able to add this onto your traveler's notebooks if you want. Please feel free to mention us and tag us in your stories or whatever. Yeah. We love seeing these in use and I'm sure it'll make Ashley really happy too to right. see them. So yeah. So that happened last week. And then also another new thing that we released last week is these little babies. Um, these are our Yoseka fountain pen. Obviously we have Origin, Refresh, and Home, but they are mini. Yeah, so. they're very cute. <laughs> They are little replicas of the sound pens that we've released over the past three years made into keychains. Um, and these are actually designed by May. And May has like a little bit of 3D modeling experience. She likes to dabble in different things. So yeah, I mean, we are just super through the roof about these little charms. They're so cute. And yeah. one of my favorite parts of these is that we wanted them to be able to uncap like right. that so they actually uncap and then they recap like that yeah. but you do have to be a little bit gentle with them right. um you know it's all it's all resin so um right. it's crackable <laughs> um yeah they're uh, they're made to be very tight they're made to be very tight yeah because we didn't want the other possibility of of it being looser was that you know it could tug and like fall off. Right, so we right. didn't want that to happen. Um, Cause these, we're assuming that you guys will be using these as keychains. Right. And we did get some questions about, you know, do these little pens actually write? Um, right. And they, they don't. They don't. <laughs> 
They don't. Yeah, we uh, we we would have loved to make them be able to write, but that would have taken another like year. <laughs> We're like, I don't even know how to. I wouldn't know how to do that. So yeah. Yeah, yeah that that would be very impressive. That would have been I another wish. journey. But yeah, we didn't really have the intention to make them write in the beginning. <laughs> These are actually. Um, if you guys know, like the Ken Elephant mini stationary collectible blind box keychains, right. um, these these were inspired loosely by them. You know, we at we at Yoseka, we love those. <laughs> um, oh, those are so cute. They're so cute. They're always fun, and um, it's a very popular concept in Asia, having yeah. those blind boxes and little miniatures. Um, and I think it's gaining popularity here in the US, but so we have had the stationary edition ones where they take like really classic stationary items, like um, what have they done in the past? Uh, they definitely have them, Alec. Alex Scissor. Alex Scissors, and then, yeah. Uh, some pencil case that, you know, that those retro pencil that cases that go up. Yeah. Right. Um, so they make them miniature and then they usually have some uh, component where you can like interact with it. So right. you can open some part of it or you can, I don't know, put, take a pen out or something like that. Yeah. Um, and we've had plenty of those break on us too, actually, <laughs> uh, okay. with those little fragile things. Yeah. So yeah, these things are fragile, but yeah, that's, these, these, they're inspired by them. We wanted to make yeah. our own version of them and how cute that we made them off of our pen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure May, uh, May's not here today, but she can probably talk about it. Um, Yes, she can talk about them a lot more. She went through lots of trial and error. There was, there were a few versions that looked nothing like pens in the beginning. <laughs> it's funny because you, like, you, you have to go from absolutely nothing to right. making these. Yeah. And she had to figure out like the dimensions, the proportions. And in the end, I mean, they really look like a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Right. And that's what's so incredible about it, you know? Yeah. She made these from nothing. So that is kind of some of our Yoseka releases from last week, which we're super excited about. And I hope you guys are too. I want to see photos of you guys using them with your stuff. Please yeah. send us. That would make me so happy. Um, and then other than that, we do have actually some additions to our Yoseka library, right? We have some books to talk about. Are you talking about these? Yeah. Yes. These are the new books. Ooh, books. Yeah. <laughs> But we always get that this is the hobby stationery. Yeah, volume. Where are we now? We're 67. at 67. Um, and the other book is the um, Obonichi Official Guidebook, mm -hmm. which we keep them in store. And this is kind of like a catalog where they go, um, they show all the design and they show, um, they interview people how they use their Obonichi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's always fun to see how people um, have like, you know, one and they use a specific way. We actually love having books in our store. Uh, back in Sunnyside, we we had this section where um, we have all the station book, um, a lot of them in Japanese and also from Taiwan, mm -hmm. where um, it's just books where I always tell people to look at them um, because they, they show so much. Um, there's one book which I love. Um, it's this guy from Japan. He's in this like stationary committee. Um, they like review stationery. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So serious. Yeah, it's, a, it's a very serious. Very serious. Very, and he published a few books. And one of them is um, him interviewing um, top professionals hmm. on how they use their stationery, like doctor, writers, and so on. So I love that book, and at the end, he also he also shows um, what stationery he used mm. to interview. Mm, <laughs> oh. That's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cute. Yeah. Yeah, because we always say, you know, it's not about the pen, but it's about how different people use the pen, right? That's right. what really makes it interesting and special, and that's kind of how we look at stationery. It's about how you use it, not right, just. Right. The item. Itself. Yeah, the, the same thing. Um, someone can use it, like even sticky notes. Someone mm -hmm. can be using like completely differently. Mm -hmm. And then seeing one person use it to fit their lifestyle, I, I always find that very inspiring. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, I love that. I love those. And, and that's why I always keep 
these books and whenever there's new books related to stationery,、mm. I always try to get them. Yeah. Yeah. Does this one? So does the does this year's Hobonichi guidebook have eighty two use stories? Is that what that says? <laughs> no,、um, it's saying there are eight hundred twenty thousand people、uh -huh. using Hobonichi. Eight hundred twenty thousand people in the world. Oh my god, that. That's what I would have guessed. I would have been like, it looks like there's 82 stories of the people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, that's really funny. All right, a lot more people. A lot, a lot of people using Open. 820,000. Wow.、Yeah. Is that is that going up or down? Um, I believe it's been going up. In the past few years, that's、um, so crazy. During Hobonich,、uh, during pandemic, it, yeah, that year, 2020 or 2021, yeah, it dipped a little bit.、Um, yeah, so you can kind of see how someone can use their Hobonich completely differently. I love that. I love flipping、yeah. through these. Yeah, and what a fun way to use Hobonich、mm -hmm. to keep track of your cat. <laughs> Yeah,、um, yeah so. I, I think that's where we got a lot of like these guidebooks are where we got a lot of inspiration also to do things like inside my pen case and stuff, right? Because、right. we want to like share with everybody,、um, you know. Personally, Neil and I have always loved to talk with people in store and find out how they use things like differently, right? Like showing,、yeah. bringing us your planner in store and showing us like how you use your Hobonichi or、yeah. your traveler's notebook or whatever it is. That's really special,、um, and that's why that's part of why we love having our store so much. So.、Yeah. Um, You know the series, like inside my pen case, for example, is、um, a way that we want to share that with you guys who are watching our videos. Yeah, of course.、Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah.、Um, and the next one is this hobby magazine, and this is one of the best stationery magazine, if I may say so. You, I, th I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I <laughs> agree.、Uh, and this edition, they talk about the standard products, how the classics. the classics are are some of you know some of our favorites,、mm -hmm. right? And then same thing, they interview,、uh, they talk about new releases, they talk about、um, uh, they interview people, and then they also showcase different shops. And then it's always amazing to look at because sometimes they have,、um, well, not sometimes they always have these amazing、um, photos of the new pen、mm -hmm. and then zoom in.、Um, and this is、um, the new Sailor Factory, so a lot of stationery news are in here as well.、Um, wow, that looks nice. Yeah, they have that's a, in there. They have a new display room. Wow, that's、yeah. beautiful. Sailor's new factory is supposed to shape like a nib. <gasps> I don't see it. From top down, like right here. Oh, oh my God! How cute, you guys! Sailor's new factory looks like looks like a nib. Wow, that's great. And this one shows like their process, and a lot of time I look at their pages and I'm just wowed by、um, even taking、uh, the photos and. The information on this one page, yeah, is it insane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, in the few edition before they made、uh, this comparison of how inks go through different paper, maybe it's from a few years ago. I、mm -hmm. don't remember. Um, and then uh, they they took like a cross section of like under microscope,、mm. uh, and then see how the how the ink like. Uh, goes into the paper, and I always just feel like, I mean, we need to support them.、Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think we're supporting them enough. But、um, look at that. Yeah.、Um, and these are some of the classic stationery. Maybe. What is that? Is that a glue? Yeah, yeah it says、um, Japanese first glue that's made、uh, in Japan. Huh. That's cool.、Um, Cool. Well, those will be added to our、uh, Yoseka library too. So if you're ever in store and you just kind of want to like check these out, be sure to ask us, and we'll definitely like have them around somewhere、yeah. and can bring them out to you.、Um, so yeah, other than that, we actually do have some、um, new fountain pens to introduce. 
These are really interesting, um, but I'll start here with something that we're really excited about. This is actually the Pilot Vanishing Point, and it's a special matte green uh, Taiwanese edition for the 30th anniversary of Pilot in Taiwan. Wow. I feel like they should have saved this. It's so good. They should have saved this for like the 50th anniversary because what are they going to do for like the 50th anniversary? <laughs> this is the 30th, it's so random. Like this yeah. is too good. Yeah, yeah. This it, is it too good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's no secret that we at Yoseka love green. And um, yeah, it's just a, re it's a really great looking pen. They did good on this one. Um, and we can always tell when something is good because when we, sh when we bring it in, um, if like half of our team is like, I want that, that <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, and like, we were all like really, like we were all impressed right, with right. this one. Sometimes it's not because they sold out very fast, it's because our team tried to get them first. Right, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. So like our, a few of our team members are getting this one. Um, we right. also add some other fountain pens recently that like right. half of our team got first dibs on, sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> blame it on Amy, she's like, she'll like, when she sees a cute thing, she'll like text everybody <laughs> and like ask them who wants it and she'll save it for them yeah. she's so cute um so so yeah this is such a good looking fountain pen it's matte green and um they sold out so quickly because we didn't get that many of them uh these are like not available here in the u.s so neil had to use his special taiwanese connections to get them <laughs> that's right a lot of phone calls <laughs> And I think Neil's like really mad that uh, we didn't make this pen first. <laughs> it looks like our pen. It's our green. Yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it looks like it could be our Yeah, pen. we'll just like find a little <laughs> marker and write Yosek on it somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a new, a newly added from last week that went really quickly. But yeah. if you want to see it in person, we'll have one at the store. So you can ask us to show it to you. I love yeah. the green and gold. Um, also new from last week is a new pen from Nagasawa. Um, this is a King of Pen. 1911 model. It's called the Kobe Affection Kyomachi Legend Blue. And it's actually, if you guys know Kobe inks very well, it is inspired by one of the inks in the Kobe collection. It's number 50 oh. and it's Kyomachi Legend Blue is, is the name of the ink. Um, and it is this blue. So this is the King of Pen model, uh, but there's also a 1911S model and a 1911L model as well. Um, and it is this kind of like royal blue color with gold glitter all over the cap of the pen and all over the barrel of the pen. That's cool. I love to see these like inks inspired by pens, pens inspired by inks, and then it's like a whole family, make it very complete. Yeah. Um, and then also we've added, we are continuing to add to our Pilot Namiki collection mm -hmm. with, um, this is the Pilot Namiki Yukari. Uh, this, this one is called Rock Garden. Mm. Um, so it is the raised, Machie here, yeah. so you can actually feel the design over there. Um, so it's really realistic. And yeah. there's a few of these kind of rock depictions along the barrel and cap of this pen mm -hmm. with like ripples. Um, like those are supposed to be sand? Yeah, these are supposed to be like the meditative rock gardens in mm -hmm. Japan. Kind of yeah. look like a galaxy. It does kind of, yeah, at first I thought these were asteroids, <laughs> but it makes more sense that it's rock garden because <laughs> these, they usually depict like very traditional Japanese motifs. Yeah. <laughs> so it would make sense for them to be asteroids. Um, but then this one is also new and this is a Chinkin collection uh -huh. pen. So you can feel the carvings and then these are obviously very recognizable flowers. These are cherry blossom flowers mm. all along the barrel and the cap of the pen. Yeah. Yeah, so that's about it. We have like new fountain pens, new mini fountain pens, <laughs> lots of new fountain pens this week. Um, and we'll add these on the pen tray because look how cute that looks. 
so cute. <laughs> okay, so that's about it for our newly added stationery this week. Um, other than that, we have been doing great at Yoseka, just kind of like looking forward to getting more pre-orders in. Other than that, in the store, I want to give a shout out to a couple of people mm, yeah. that I met this past weekend. Um, I want to shout out Yusra and Sachi who were visiting us from Toronto. And oh. um, yeah, you, they spent a lot of time in store and had a really, really fun time. And Sachi actually works over at Paper Plus Cloth in Toronto. Um, and she was very passionate. She said she had like nine traveler's notebooks or something. <laughs> it was very wow. impressive, impressive Good collection. Nine. Yeah, impressive collection of traveler's notebooks. Yeah. Um, so you guys, it was really nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming by Yoseka and shopping in store with us and saying hi. Hi, it was really good to meet you. And then um, I actually like met this other person this weekend who mm -hmm. um, asked me for help looking for a scrapbook because he was preparing a gift for his partner uh, where he wanted to make um, a, a scrapbook of memories for one year anniversary oh and w do one photo for every week in oh, their year okay. so 52 pages oh my god yeah 52 pages is Wait, what he's what? gonna be working on and in my head i was like neil has to step up the gifts <laughs> <laughs> i've never received a gift like that <laughs> um but yeah it was really really cool to be able to help him out and he actually went with one of the new books that we added for anybody who's who wants to make something like this good yeah. luck it's gonna good take fun. you a long time he went with the midori um stand book plus stand, uh, you know how it's a yeah, planner yeah, up yeah. the calendar, but yeah. we have it as a notebook now um, right. because it stands up on your desk mm. so that um, then his partner can actually look at the pictures mm. standing on his desk. So we That's found good. the, I think, I think it was pretty perfect for that use. It is. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was my week in the store. It was really, really great. Um, I hope you all are well. And I think that wraps it up for this week. I hope you have lots of um, apple. I hope you have some apple picking in your future, some pumpkin spice lattes in your future, whatever you're looking forward to for the fall season. And that's about it. Well, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.